2009 issue of Woodworkers Journal, one of our readers wrote in asking how to sharpen a cabinet scraper. And I'm going to do that for you today. I'm going to show you how to do that. The big question might be, or the first question is, what is a cabinet scraper? Well, a cabinet scraper is a magical piece of metal. It's flat that uh, cabinet makers use to scrape off, actually cut through the fibers of the wood that they're working on. You might say to yourself, how can a little piece of metal do that? That was my response too when I fir very first saw it in my father's shop. It looked like, it looked like magic. And so we're going to share a little bit of that magic with you today. How does it work? Well, a cabinet scraper is indeed a flat piece of metal, but there is a, 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 a hook to it, a literal hook. If you look along this top edge, if you had a, um, like a, a magnifying glass or a microscopic, or maybe a prop that could examine, explain to you how that shape changed, uh, the, the top edge of the cabinet scraper is actually pushed down, burnished over, and creates a hook that runs along the long edge of this cabinet scraper. That hook is actually very sharp, and if you hold the scraper at the proper angle and pull it across the wood with some, with some force, it will actually cut through the fibers, removing microscopic, not microscopic, but very much like a plane. You'll, you'll actually see curls of wood being removed. And that's how a cabinet scraper or a card scraper works. It actually cuts through the wood. How do you get this hook? That's what we're going to show you next. How do you sharpen a cabinet scraper? Well, it take, you need three different things for certain. You need a cabinet scraper. You need a burnisher, which is simply a highly polished hard piece of steel. And in between sharpening sessions, often you need a triangular file. If the cabinet scraper has already been used, that means it has some existing remnant hooks on there. The first thing you need to do is take a piece of solid hardwood and your, and your burnisher, and you just flatten out that edge. You run your burnisher, and this is called burnishing, flat against the edge, against, excuse me, against the face of the cabinet scraper. This just pushes the, the existing hook back in line with the face of the, the metal. This metal is called malleable. It's hard, but it's not so hard that you can't push it around. That's a technical term. You might not be able to keep up with that. Then the next thing you need to do is in some way control your cabinet scraper as you're working on it. If you have a bench vise, you can put a padded bench vise, you can put it in there. Or if you just have some clamps and a couple pieces of hardwood, that works as well. Now that you've got the edge pushed up, what you need to do is square that up into a rectilinear shape. So don't take off too much, but you use your, your file and you just simply file it flat. And you can actually see, if you have a light running across, you can actually see as you get a nice clean line, it will look uh, un uninterrupted and clean. You do it to both edges because you indeed use both edges of the cabinet scraper as you're working. Again, not too much. Just take a good look at it as you're doing it. It's perfect. Now, you go back to your burnisher. And this is the magic part. You're actually pushing down the metal and creating that crown that we saw before with the hook. So you start pushing flat. Move it to about 20 degrees. About five times is what you'll need. And you can actually, in this case, feel if you've got an edge. You've got a hook running all the way along. If you don't have a hook on some spots, do it over again. All right, good edge on that side. nicely sharpened cabinet scraper. And how do you know? Take a piece of hardwood. <laughs> 
So why would you use a cabinet scraper, say, rather than a sander or maybe a plane? Well, the answer is you wouldn't absolutely need to use a cabinet scraper. There's always many ways to solve woodworking questions. However, um, why this came into such popularity is that it's quick and it's handy. Say you're doing face framework, there's a little dimensional inconsistency at the corner. Bring out your scraper, a couple of straps over the top of it, you've got a level corner. Now, there is something to consider. This cuts wood. If you're going to come and sanders a braid wood, if you're going to use this in conjunction with a panel, say, that has a scraped uh, style and rail frame, and you've sanded the, the panel on the, on the inside of it, it's going to absorb stain differently. So any time you use a cabinet scraper, you should scrape the entire piece or follow it up with a sander yeah, if you're using stain. If you're using a clear finish, it's not as critical. A couple other things to keep in mind. Like I said, some folks um, use cabinet scrapers when they're doing uh, style and rail construction, that sort of thing. My friend Ian Kirby would say he doesn't have a, an idea of why you would ever use a cabinet scraper. Now, he happens to be a master of the hand plane and almost all of his work he can do with that. But, for example, luthiers, people who make violins, guitars, that sort of thing, we have scrapers that are shaped. We have uh, a lot of curved, flat pieces that are, that are flat in dimension but curved around the, like the sides of a, a guitar. That's where a, a cabinet scraper is, is very, very useful. You can use it on that hardwood and uh, clean up saw marks, scratches, burns, all sorts of things. And one final important point, and it's pretty quirky. Cabinet scrapers only work on hardwood. If you try to use them on softwood, pine, cedar, spruce, something like that, you won't get good results at all. Uh, cabinet scrapers, car scrapers, are only effective when working with hardwood. That's an important note to uh, keep in mind. So that's how you sharpen. That's why it's important to have a cabinet scraper. That's why, that's how they work. Any other questions? Send them our way. I'm Rob Johnstone, Woodworkers Journal.